What's up, guys? I was just cleaning my guns. I have an X Macro and a 365 XL. The fire control unit can be a pain. Things fall out, things move, and the slide can be very difficult to put back on. I'm going to take the fire control unit out. Let me drop it. And you just got to push that pin out. So pop the receiver pin out. So let the slide off. Okay, and I can't show you a dismantle from here, so I'm just going to take it out and I'll have the fire control unit uh, in here. All right, so this slides out once that pin is removed, the receiver pin. Now, even just by taking this thing out, this arm right here, the takedown safety lever, can pop out of its groove inside the lever pin. Uh, this safety lever pin right here, if that comes out at all, the sear will snap up. So when you have it all back together and you're trying to put the slide on and you put the slide on and this thing's up, this will hit and it won't go all the way on. Another thing that can stop you is this safety lever right here. This. When you have this fight control unit back in the grip module, this pin, if it's up, this that will keep the slide from sliding all the way on as well. So keep that down. Well, if this takedown safety lever ever comes off, the takedown lever does have a groove in it. You just pull it up and you'll see a groove. And that's where it, um, it hooks into a groove in there. Because that can come apart as well. This whole arm can fall off if you're not holding it tight. If your lever does snap up, pull this out a little bit, maybe a little less than an eighth of an inch. until I would keep pressure on it and pull this out. This does come out very easy with your fingers or a flathead screwdriver. Just pull it out a little bit and you'll feel this go down and then push it back in and then the, the sear will stay down. Another critical component is this tiny little spring. It should have been a C-clip. Uh, it would be so much easier. But these things love to fall out, that little spring right there, the retaining spring. That keeps the pin in. So that little spring right there. If I can focus, that little spring right there loves to fall out. I have uh, this 365 right there, the XL. Where is it? Right there. The XL, it falls out every time I take it apart. This, the macro, it stays in for some reason. I don't know if I just get extra grease holding in or what, but just keep an eye on that because if that's not in there, the pin, when you go to put it in, will eventually fall out because that's what holds it. Let me show you the pin real quick is the pin so basically that clip goes into that groove right there and if it's not in there this will eventually fall out and your gun will just fall apart so you want to make sure it's in there and everything else is usually good sears down safety lever is down and this lever here is engaged and working Now you can install it and you shouldn't, you won't have any issues. Just figured I'd share it with you if anybody's having a hard time. I, Cause I always have a hard time, I keep forgetting that this, every time I take it out, this lever slides out, the sear snaps up. Just about every time. And I put it all together and I'm trying to put the slide on and I'm like, what's going on, what's going on? I keep forgetting. Um, so just pull that pin on a little bit. So that sear drops, push it back in. If you do pull this pin out too much, the safety pin, if you pull that out too much, the other safety lever will either fall out or get stuck. And that's a whole nother video. <laughs> that's a pain in the butt. Uh, what I do, if this does come out, the safety lever, if that ever comes out, pull it out and pull this pin out a little bit while holding this lever. And you got to just kind of find the sweet spot and find the hole again and push it back in. But I would never pull that all the way out. That's going to be an overhaul. And there are videos out there to get that back in. Maybe I'll do it one day. I don't know. Let me put the fire control unit back in the uh, grip module and we'll put the slide back on. Yep, it snapped up. So I went to put it back on and this lever moved and it snapped up. So now I can show you exactly what to do. You pull that lever out just a little bit. Let me get a screwdriver real quick. 
just a tiny bit like go a sixteenth of an inch at a time just pull it out a little bit push it down push it back in and there you go and make sure your safety lever is still moving yeah it's good because if it's stiff it means it's, uh, the pin's not in the hole all right see it happens every time just about every freaking time. This is the only downfall about the 365. I love the 365. It's a great gun. Macro, great gun. Fire control unit is, you almost have to learn how to use this and how it's assembled because it just falls apart. You got to like hold it together when you put it in the grip module. All right. Fire control unit is in. Retaining spring right there for the pin is still there. So that's good. Now I can put the pin in and won't have any issues. And I like to push these into your click. That way you know it's holding. And I had to turn the camera off and I had it took me about 10 times to get this in because this kept snapping back. You literally have to hold everything and get it in and hope it works. It's a pain. This fire control unit's a pain. It definitely is. A lot of people complain about it. But once it's in, it's great. You know what I mean? It's great. There you go. So those three things, man. As long as the, those pins down, the sears down, and the levers where they're supposed to be, it'll slide on nice and smooth. There you go. I hope that helped. It's, it's such a beautiful gun. And this is the Icarus Grip Mod from uh, the X-Macro. Icarus grip module and an armory craft trigger. And it's just a sweet, it's a sweet gun. But yeah, the fire control unit is a pain in the butt, man. But it's just something you, you obviously, you have to master in order to use it. It's almost, it's a requirement. <laughs> I hope this video helps. I haven't seen any video at all about the sear getting stuck up and a resolve for it. So that was my main issue was the sear getting stuck up so i don't know i hope it helps guys uh thanks for watching until next time thanks